The next witness statement was by Lisa Boylan and it's dated August 22nd. She says, just before 10 o'clock, myself and my daughter returned home. She was driving and I was a front seat passenger. There was no other persons in the car. She parked up outside our address facing East Prescott Road. We sat in her vehicle just chatting to each other. We heard two loud bangs coming from behind us. I panicked and immediately knew it was someone shooting down the road. I witnessed a male running up behind us from the other side of the road. I witnessed this male being chased on foot by another male holding out a gun, pointing it at the lad in front of him. She says, I couldn't believe what happened in front of me. It all happened so fast. He was approximately eight foot behind. I couldn't see whether he had any injuries. He went past me too fast. The lad with the gun was wearing all black. He wore a padded black jacket. He wore black coloured gloves and was wearing a black balaclava. He also wore black trainers. He was approximately five foot seven in height and was a slim build. I couldn't give an age as he was wearing a balaclava with only his eyes on show. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I heard the lad in grey shouting, Don't lad, don't lad, don't. The lad in black with the gun did not reply. He followed the lad in grey clothing onto the other side of the road. The male with the gun glared at me as he ran past. It scared me. The lad in black clothing held out his gun again and shot. He shot a second shot straight after. I think they missed a sight being close to him. The lad in grey clothing ran into an address approximately five doors down. He was followed by the male with the gun. We remained in the car. I then heard a loud bang as if someone was booting the door open. I think it was the lad in the grey clothing desperate to get into the house. Within a second I heard a further three gunshots coming from inside the address. Me and Libby quickly drove away. We wanted to just get away in case we were next shot at. I feared the lad with a gun might shoot at me as he left as we witnessed the incident. I immediately phoned the police. Libby was in shock, we both were, and I'm still in shock. They then returned to Kings Heath Avenue, parking outside their home and walked down the road to the scene. You said there were lots of people in the street and at that front garden. I saw a female child with blonde hair being carried out by police officers. She wore a white nightie which had a lot of blood over it. She appeared floppy. I knew immediately the little girl had been shot. The female adult occupant was sitting on the front door set. I assume she is the mother of the child. She was shouting she wanted to go to Older Hay with her child. She was bleeding also. Her arm was bandaged up. The whole incident lasted approximately 90 seconds from the first hearing the gunshot to going into the house. I think there must have been seven shots fired in total. It was dark outside, but I did get a good look at the male in grey and the male with the gun. I probably wouldn't be able to recognise the man again due to the balaclava. The whole incident has made me feel sick. The trial continues.